Prices Instrument Sales. Uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, Siemens' range of compact uh, radar level transmitters, uh, the LR100 series. And the series consists of the 100, 110, 120, 140 and 150. Uh, they have uh, various beam angles and uh, measuring ranges depending on your application. Uh, the unit that we've got with us today is the LR110 and what we're specifically interested in is uh, having a look at the Bluetooth functionality which makes them uh, extremely easy to set up and install. There's no need for uh, cables or specific software so what you can do you can you can download the app off uh, the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store um, I've got the app open in front of me and I've got the transmitter connected. It's uh, this specific model is a loop powered um, 4 to 20 uh, model, but you do get a Modbus uh, model as well. Um, setup is extremely easy. Um, when you open, once you've downloaded the app and you open it, you will see automatically as long as your Bluetooth is enabled you'll see it, it detects the transmitter and the transmitter has a unique identifier as well as a pin lock so if anybody else picked up downloaded the software and picked up your device they wouldn't be able to access it and change any of the parameters so we'll go ahead and and uh, just do a quick commission on this one set it up for a level application to do that You'll uh, tap on the sensor that you want to set up. You'll have to insert a pin. This pin will be provided uh, with the sensor itself. Once you've entered the pin, the first thing you'll see will be the home screen. Uh, you'll be able to see the device status, whether there's any faults on the device. Um, if you haven't connected it correctly, obviously you will not be able to connect to the device. So um, at a minimum, you need to ensure that you have um, connected it and powered the device. Um, all we'll do is we'll just go up and set it for, uh, for a basic level application. So to do that, you tap on Setup and Quick Commissioning. Okay, uh, what we're going to do here, we're gonna, there's a few settings that we'll set, very quick and easy. The first one we want to change, we want to set is the operation. Here we're going to do uh, a level, but you could potentially change that to space or distance if that's what your application was. Uh, the next setting we want to have a look at is the material type. Here for our demo, we're going to change this from liquid to solid. Once you've changed a setting, if you want to load it to the device, tap save. It will send the request to the device. Okay, moving down from material type, you want to have a look at your application. So, what we've got here is we've got a silo. We've got an open or a bin and a hopper application. For this one, we're in the workshop, so we'll set it to an open and save again. Now, for the lower calibration point, this will be the point that equates to 4 milliamps, and the upper calibration point is what would equate to 20 milliamps on your output. If we go back to home again and we have a look, we can see that currently this transmitter is measuring distance to the ground of 1.0203 meters. So if we go back to setup again, we set our lower calibration point to 1.0 meters and save that. We see that it uh, sent the instruction to the device and we can see that uh, taking a look at our milliamp output we've gone down to just below 4 milliamps. 
if we go back to our home screen on our application, we can now see that it is updated to zero meters in level. And what we can do as well is we can have a look at the chart recorder, which will give us a nice visual representation of our level. Um, I've currently got uh, a box here, which we would use just to demonstrate a level change. And as I move the box in front of the range of the radar, you can see the level has increased. And we can see a representation of that level increase as well. So we can see that at the moment, we're now picking up a level increase of 250 mil. And basically, that is that how easy it is to set up this range of Bluetooth enabled transmitters. There are obviously more detailed setup as well. If you wanted to go in and change your damping value, the uh, current saturation values, you can do that as well. You can also have a look uh, at basic fault codes on the device. But essentially, with a tablet, a phone, with uh, either Android or Apple operating system, you'd be able to set this up without the need for any other cables or accessories.